Ain't you leave? Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Adam Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Adam Fog exclusive. I'm Blake Bolden, Sub 4 Miler, and director of the Drake Relays here at Fog Dogs Barbershop, getting ready for the big week. Mullet time, baby. Mullet time, baby. Actually, I'll start this side just so you get a view of it. Pretty sure that's the range I use on my ass the other <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I'm looking good, I'm feeling good. Straight fresh from the Fog Dog Barbershop. <laughs> Fresh out of Walmart, uh, King, Coach, Jay Coliseus, uh, fill in the fans, your loyal fans. Where are we off to? What's, what's been going on? We aren't off to anywhere. We have arrived in Fayetteville, Arkansas for the Arkansas Qualifier Meet, Last Chance Meet, um, on the awesome uh, Randall Tyson track. Uh, we got the two boys, the two All-Americans, Isaac Baston and Adam Fogg in the mile tomorrow. Um, another huge, huge, huge opportunity here. We got a pace that's uh, it's going to be paced, uh, a race that's going to be paced pretty well. Um, we should go out in about uh, 227 through the K and then race on. Um, that's a lot like how Adam ran his 356 at Iowa State. All we need is maybe a, a half a second faster and he should be set into nationals. Um, and uh, and Isaac's going to be chasing him down out there. It's just going to be a great setup. We're heading over now to the track after getting some groceries and uh, going to get a shakeout and some strides in. And the boys and myself can't be more excited for tomorrow. Um, we drove through a blizzard to get here, so we know there's some great stuff on this side of the storm. What about you, Boston? How you going? Duh, Jay put it really well. I'm going good. Uh, I can't wait to get out there tomorrow. The Pacers going to go through 227. I'm probably going to find myself a little bit back. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. It's kind of just depending on what everybody else does. I'm going to get myself in that group and, you know, just go for it those last couple laps, like what I like to do. I think I've um, gotten away from the type of racing I like to do over these past couple weeks, and I'm going to go back to the basics and kick some ass, so I'm excited. Just finished some strides, um, felt like an absolute baller out there. You know, honestly, last weekend I had the best race of my life, but this weekend, I'm gonna top it. I was thinking, um, first lap, 35 maybe? Go out sub 70? Nah, I'm kidding. But, that felt insane. I'm gonna break 350 tomorrow. Strides felt super good. Everything felt easy, which is great. I didn't feel that way going into last weekend. And honestly, I'm just looking to go out there and have some fun, like get in the pack and just like race for place, like treat it like a national style race, even though it's not. And I know the time will take care of itself, so I'm pretty hyped. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. How are you, Kevlar? What's going on? How was Strides? Strides felt good. Track feels crazy. This place is insane. Um, yeah, just some race pace, a little, little on the race pace strides, 200s, 100s. Uh, I think everyone's ready to roll tomorrow, so it should be good. Lovely. And uh, introduce yourself oh, yeah. for, for all the fans out there. So, I'm Kevin Kelly, uh, Irish Miler, 357, was on the Fog Dog podcast with Baston last week. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so just got here to Arkansas, Fayetteville. We're gonna be uh, pacing the DMR. Boys are racing the mile, so 
Should be a good day of action. Alright guys, here at dinner, uh, we're at Giraldi's in Fayetteville. Got the pizza, you know the rules, one bite. Are you Dave Portnoy? Don't rate it, you have to eat another bite because he actually yeah. does. Yeah. No. He just like he one doesn't bite. follow his own rules. One bite. He eats the whole thing. This is a, an eater. Um, um, sauce is good, it's a little saggy. I'll give it like saggy? a, yeah, just the crust a little saggy. Let's say six, seven. That's pretty solid. Man. Yeah, I, I think bad. so. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Paul and Riley got that good. Was the Alfredo that was fun. It's so it's always good. It's the like best place in the yeah, like a six Right here. It's an eight, but like keeps in anticipation. We better be good like, at this. Make an eight. <laughs> All right, as Kevlar said, uh, we're in Giraldi's Fayetteville, uh, best place in town. I ate here three nights in a row uh, when I was here for Nationals Indoor last year with uh, with Jay. Um, getting on for a year ago now, but yeah, we're getting some dinner, uh, chicken Alfredo pasta right here. Looking forward to getting this down. We did a few good strides tonight, um, and we're looking forward to the mile tomorrow. I'll actually, I'll put the start list in up here. There's eight, eight people in the race, and one of them is a pace. The goal is just to run pretty fast, um, stick on the pacer. If I'm right in behind the pacer, um, then I'm, I'm more than happy to kind of push it on after the pacer drops out. Um, yeah, and the goal is just get in there, really have a crack and try and run something quick. Um, right now, my 356 from a few weeks ago is 21st in the country, 16 qualified for nationals. Um, and a few people can scratch and choose different events, so I could still get in with 356, but we don't want to leave it to chance, so hopefully tomorrow we can go quicker. Stay tuned, dinner time now, about to eat my pasta. Um, and yeah, get ready. Big day tomorrow, baby. Five and a half hours. Wasn't bad. Pasta has the dinner. Treat me well. Treat me well. We're getting fat over here. This is exactly what you want. How are we feeling after this drive? We feel really good. That was the best I've felt during strides in a while, so I'm super hyped for tomorrow. Many hours later. On your mark. So eight laps underway here. So, Abdirazak Ibrahim from New Mexico here in the field along with Cameron Griffith, Adam Fogg, Joe Waskin from Washington, Isaac Baston from Drake, Zach Stallings, Austin Dahlquist, former Razorback. Current leader, Matthew Larkin. Larkin coming through. First 200 at 29, three years, 400 at 59, 32. Currently here at the Tyson Indoor. We've had a total of 159 up four minute miles here run since 2000 when the facility opened. Bernard Lugot running the first sub four minute mile here in 356 in February of 2000. So far in 2022 we've had eight sub four minute miles. And we're going to be adding to that as these sections progress. Coming up here with their 800 meter mark. 30 22, that last 200 to coming through right at 159 for their 800 meter split. So, this section, the first of four, definitely on track to go under four. It's Matthew Larkin from New Mexico, Adam Fogg from Drake. Abdir Zach Ibrahim from New Mexico running one, two, three here in section one. Let's go, Foggy! You're right there, baby, right there! Oh. 
That's Lindsey Reed of Old Miss. At four meters, 41, 14, five and a half, Reed for the Ole Miss Rebels. Let's go, Foggy, right there, baby. Big old slap. Come on, Boston. So Adam Fogg, your leader, Joe Waskin for Washington, and Abdir Zach Ibrahim for the Lobos running one, two, three. Coming up at 400 meters to go. Can we get this first section down under four? Come on, Foggy! Massive last lap, come on, baby! Everything you have, come on! 327, 328 with 400 to go. Well, I'm sorry, excuse me, 100 to go. That's Fog and Wascom. Definitely going to be flirting with that sub four. Waskin with 100 meters to go, followed by Fog. Come on, Fog! Baskin from Drake. Baskin. And Isaac Baskin at 356.10. There we go. 356.10 for Baskin. Waskin at 356.43. Fogg at 357. Ibrahim 357. The top eight all break four. Congratulations, gentlemen. It's my uh, fifth sub four minute mile. And it, I mean, 357 a couple of years ago would have been like mad in the NCAA. But uh, I pulled my, my teammate Baston through, he won, I think he won in 356-1, so he, he's in for nationals for sure. Um, and then the guy who beat me, Washington guy, uh, huge run from him. Um, yeah, so I got in behind the pacer, that's what I wanted to do. I ran hard, when the pacer pulled out I kind of gave him a little nudge to the side, I came through on the inside and really tried to keep it rolling. but. I, I just felt like I had nothing today, and to run 3.57 when you feel like that is, uh, well, I mean it's a solid day. I, to be honest, if I ran 3.57 and won, I'd be pretty happy with that. I wanted to go a lot quicker today. Honestly, it's a big call, but I felt like I could run 3.54, 3.55 for sure today. Um, a little bit off that, but it is what it is. Now, we kind of got to wait and see. Uh, if I'm going to scrape into nationals. Kids, this is what a school record holder looks like. Damn. Yeah, I will. I will. Wait to the camera. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, sick. Yeah. Yeah, love you. Love you. Hey, it's a it's a it's a very good day when you have two guys run 357 and 356. It shows the work these guys have done. Um, unfortunately, I, I feel bad for Mr. Fogdog right now. He did he did all the work. The pacer was probably a second and a half slow, which doesn't seem like much, but um, we really needed that second and a half. We asked for that second and a half, and uh, and it, Adam had to do a lot of work because of it. But uh, he, he chose how strong he is, um, so hopefully he can stay on um, on that short list, get one of those last shots into the national championship. Um, I'm just proud of both of them, but it's bittersweet. Out here warming down. Hands are a little bit numb. I should have should have worn gloves. Kev's an Irish man and uh, convinced me, well actually he didn't even say anything but I just, I just made him come outside <laughs> real quick because he was talking to everyone yeah. and wouldn't cool down so. You know how it is. Uh, <laughs> shout out to this man, Bastion. Always ends up whipping one out. 356 one, literally, literally more than 10 seconds quicker than what he ran last week. Um, yeah, we're hey. out here having a little jog and we're doing a few uh, one minute pickups as well. A few like kind of strides just to get the legs turning over. 
um, you know, punish ourselves a little bit more after that absolute punishment we just took on the track. I'm about to get dropped so hard. <laughs> Boston, how are you feeling about your race? Ah, good. My stomach isn't feeling great, but the rest of me is feeling good. Uh, just happy, excited, a little bit anxious. Like, you still don't know what the NCAA this year, but I mean, now I just know like I've done all I can and hopefully everything Kev, okay, look what it is. It's a bike. Yeah, Bastin, uh, now that we're back. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, now that we're back from the warm down, uh, give us give us your thoughts on 356 warm for the mile. Just quickly, uh, for all the people watching, new school record holder here, old school record holder here, even <laughs> older school record holder here. The three of us all have uh, had the Drake school record. Bastin is the new owner. Um, how are you feeling? Unreal. It's it's just fun, man. Like doing it at a sick facility like this with your best buddy, and I don't know. I'm just really grateful that I had the opportunity, and like grateful that you led stuck behind the pacer, and like I, I ran it like a selfish, you know what? But I mean, I'm just happy it went my way finally. I feel like I've been struggling the last few weeks, and like whether or not that gets into nationals, like obviously I really really hope it does. But either way, I'm just happy that I gave it a crack. Like I'm happy that I can finished the season saying man like I gave it everything I had and like I'm happy with it so hopefully this race can be like the beginning of like the next level again for me like a breakout race and we'll see what I can do from it but I'm um, yeah I'm excited lovely Kev Kelly uh, as I was saying former former school record holder now uh, <laughs> former former yeah it's, old. <laughs> it's got a ring to it um Pacer out there in the DMR today uh, took the boys through. Uh, talk us through it. What What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's on the line. We kind of I was just chatting to the guys, and everyone was kind of erring on the side of a little quicker than slower. So went through in like 58 and kind of kept it consistent there. So we went through in like honestly, actually went through in like 154. So actually quite quite quick. So through 800, that is through 800, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, the boys just pushed on from there. Washington went and ran, what, 921 20. or 920. So, yeah. you know, I think all the teams that were in that race right there will go to Nationals. So, I was pretty happy with the way my, like, how I felt. And so, you know, did a bit of a threshold afterwards. So, yeah. Lovely stuff. Uh, unzip that top, show us what's underneath. <laughs> Gotta support my boys, you know. I was there. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was great watching uh, Adam and Isaac run, you know, I haven't actually seen either of them race since they've been at Drake on the track, so, you know, it's been an honour to, to see a former record holder, now new record holder, and, you know, I'm just very proud of what these boys are doing, and, you know, especially Jay there bringing the guys along, and, you know, we started something cool at Drake, and it's good to see that Fog Dog, Isaac, and all the other boys back at Drake are, are uh, holding it up, so, yeah, proud to be a Bulldog. So, fucked up rear after cooling down. What's the thoughts? Um, yeah, I was saying to the boys in the cool down, I actually had a mad stitch in the cool down. A little bit of a post race, you know, stomach pain, but um, it's the way it is. That's what you get when you run hard. Um, and run hard we did today. I gave it a real crack. 357.24. Um, I was 229.92 through 1009. Um, when I ran my 356.6 a few weeks ago, um, that's coming up to four weeks ago now. I was 227 mid through 1009. Um, today, a little bit slower than that. Um, and then when the pace stepped off, I really tried to keep it rolling. I said to the boys before the race, like, I'm happy to get in behind the pacer. I'm happy to try and push it on. Um, that's what I did. It worked well. Uh, the pacer. He, he did a pretty good job. Um, maybe we were a tiny bit slower than we wanted to be, but I, to be honest, I didn't feel great doing that. Um, so if we were any quicker, maybe I, I wouldn't have felt good enough to actually stick on the pacer, but it is what it is. Um, I really did my best when the pacer pulled out to keep it rolling. I really kind of tried to put my foot down. I picked it up a bit, um, and yeah, in the last lap, I just kind of tied up a little bit and didn't really have anything left. So got overtaken I'm, I'm if I'm gonna get beaten by anyone I'm glad to see you know my boy Isaac Baston coming through to, to beat me um, that's the way it is sometimes you know I have a, I had a real crack out there I wanted to get the win I wanted to run faster than I did but it's, it's track that's what you get with running um, 
and you know as I was saying like 357.2 is a time that like millions of people would actually dream of running it's just the NCAA is pretty crazy right now and unfortunately uh, it's frankly probably not good enough um, 356.6 I think I'm 23rd in the country with that uh, depending on kind of what happens over the next well this weekend and then over the next week or so in the NCAA I I'm not feeling great about qualifying for nationals anymore, but there's still an outside chance, um, depending on people kind of scratching and choosing to run different events. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, if I'm if I'm in, great, and I'm gonna you know do my best at nationals, and I, I really hope I'm in. If I'm not, that's running. That's the way it goes sometimes. Um, and we'll yeah focus on running well at conference, and then um, yeah trying to have a real crack for the outdoor season. So yeah. Overall, not an ideal trip to Arkansas. For Bassin, it's huge, and I'm, I'm genuinely really happy for him. As I said, if I'm going to get beaten by anyone, and if anyone's going to run quick, I'm glad to see it's him. Uh, shout out to the Washington guy as well, who came through to beat me as well. Um, unreal runs from them. To be honest, unreal runs from most of the field out there. Um, yeah, again, I'm rambling, but it, yeah, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, it's whatever. Uh, it could be a lot worse. Thanks for watching. I'm reasonably okay with today. I wanted to go quicker. I really feel like I can go a lot quicker. I just honestly haven't had the race for it and doing it from the front is, it's tough. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching um, and we'll see you in the next video.